Hey guys, welcome to a brand new episode of Hot Projects where we take a look at some of the biggest games on the blockchain right now. We have some brand new games to take a look at today, some updates that you can actually get involved in. Tomorrow there's going to be a really exciting game coming, we're going to be talking about that first. We have some new gameplay coming from Champions Ascension, which is looking really, really good. We're going to be getting into this. Obviously the whole crypto space is probably in pretty, pretty much in disarray at the moment because of what's happening with FTX, the FTT token absolutely tanking. But this doesn't affect NFT gaming because at the end of the day, the developers can keep on building their games and eventually when we get high quality games that are comparable to where games are outside of the blockchain which we're starting to see a lot of now then we are going to start to see this ecosystem flourish i reckon so let's get into today's episode we start kick things off with Ambra studios who are silently released a uh a, an nft collection of the e4c rangers and they sold out on immutable x now, the big thing about this project is that it comes from the ex-CEO of Riot Games Asia. And so, obviously, very, very experienced, good reputation. And here's what we can expect. So, we have NFT collection that has been sold, released now. You can pick these up on OpenSea. There's three different collections. There is the Rangers Rangers Edition, the Gold Edition, and then there is the Rangers Ultimate Edition, which will say back 12 E, so 15 grand, quite a lot. So very, very expensive to purchase any of them if you want to. But they will come with holders perks. There's ownership, obviously, and different revenue streams within the game. Airdrops will come, subsequent NFTs and in-game assets, including battle pass, tournament tickets, and more will drop with those. You'll have a special ID, access to early um, the gameplay of the pre-beta testing you can get involved in being responsible while donating one percent of the proceeds to environmental organizations in the name of the holders to help protect the planet um what's really exciting about this is, is that gonna have a game coming out tomorrow on steam um obviously very very reputable source of gaming where you don't have to worry about downloading anything um uh, anything with viruses this is going to be their their mini game so this is a leisure competitive game fighting for crystals in the arena getting bigger defeating opponents new heroes new skills and new weapons call your friends to fight together so here we see a little sneak peek of what we can expect this game to look like so, E4C Fallen Arena. We have Rangers. They'll have different abilities. We've got Speed Up with them. We've got different weapons that you can use. And in game, you'll be battling. It looks like, uh, you know, kind of typical MOBA going around and trying to defeat enemies, getting up a higher rank by acquiring some of these crystals and getting kills getting some XP up and obviously that'll probably have some impact on your stats um these games very very popular coming from a, obviously a very very reputable place with the, the XCO of right games who knows how to deliver on quality content so it'd be exciting to see what they're going to bring to the NFT game in space we've had MOBAs obviously already um what I'm looking for is something a little bit different from your theater arena brawl stars type game um and we'll see what they what they deliver but yeah we get access to that tomorrow so we'll, next week we'll be able to show some gameplay of this you can actually download fallen arena on their website so you got your with your e4c um rangers by playing you'll get a ranger for free if you're an nft holder Wasteland Battlefield is where you're going to be taking place in the battles. Sec Fun Kills. So it's going to be the first ever Sec Kill game on Web3. Stunning weapons and you'll be able to get rewards in game assets for free. And this is just one of their two games. So they have Final Salvation coming soon as well. A UGC tool. This is going to be all part of the E4C verse that they're building. So we see these are different places with different laws. We scroll down we can see their roadmap so q3 of 2023 that's when we're going to have see the main game beta launch complete world stories and dow token launch um i reckon with these nfts being that it's so far away your typical what you see in these collections if there is no progression of game or if they release mini games where the rewards aren't great the value of some of these nfts does go down i think $200 is the cheapest that you can get a Ranger for, which is pretty expensive. Um, 
maybe a little bit too expensive for people to commit to. But if you think about this, this could be, this is one of those type of projects that has the potential to build a game that is, you know, a massive change for the, the blockchain. And if you see tons of people flock to a game like this, no game has captured the gaming market that the potential uh you know demand that a game would have which would increase the value of the nfts we haven't seen a game that has captured millions and millions of players like you know i mean the amount of people that will be playing and have downloaded god of war ragnarok right now will be huge and what we need is a game like that that will attract that many people and People will want those perks that you get with the NFTs and that will obviously increase value. So who knows, this could be one of those absolute game changers that changes the whole scene for NFT blockchain and gaming and attracts a huge portion of people. You can check out the E4C light paper on there and the team which is fully doxxed and obviously very, very experienced. So check it out, maybe pick up an NFT if you really want to hold out for this. I'm probably gonna wait, see what these NFTs do over time, check it in a couple of months and see where it's at. But we'll be definitely be checking out the gameplay tomorrow and maybe doing a video around that, either in Hot Projects or in it in itself. We'll see how good it is. Next up we have Champions Ascension. Big news coming from them. They released their alpha. So this is just the pre-alpha trailer to give you a sneak peek of the atmosphere that they're trying to build in the world of Messina. And so I got an opportunity to play this, but it was a bit buggy. But we'll show you exactly what it's it's going to look like. And, you know, when it works well, I think it's going to be really good. It's going to have a lot of skill to it. It's not going to be an auto battler. It's going to be something that requires some strategy. And I think we'll see that in this next clip. So this is what you can expect. This is what the world of machine is going to look like. Where you're fighting an arena. And you can see in the bottom right, we have this user interface where you can use certain skills to attack your enemy. We have the ability to use special skills that will help us dodge, parry. That's going to obviously have a big impact on how much damage you deliver, how much damage you take. And that's where the strategy is going to come in. I think this could be a really big, big game. And what's more, this game is going to have way more to it than just the gameplay. It's going to have a huge social element to it. Already from what we've played and seen, it has a really cool community where you can actually see the people who are in there playing in the world of Messina and you can interact with them. You can go to tables and play mini games like the crab racing which as you can see here, I played and my crab was doing really well and then just ran straight back to the middle. So that's so, it's like trying to get to the end, whoever wins, wins tickets. So you can get all that. We have pets, we saw Beedle being available by burning some of your pets to get a chance to acquire him. I didn't have enough pet NFTs to be able to do a burn, um, but you can pick one up off the uh, opens it at the moment. You set you back at about two hundred dollars to pick one of those up. Um, I think they're around 0.2 ETH to be able to purchase one. So as you can see, currently the next opening is November the seventh. It will happen at 5 p.m. to 7 p.m. That's UTC time, and they'll be working on some bugs. And that's when we'll be able to play the pre-alpha in a little bit more. You know, better quality. I don't think we'll have any bugs then. We'll be able to play the game and show it off in, in its entirety. Uh, give it a good show. And we're probably going to record some footage this week and show it in next week's Hot Projects then. If you want to get involved, obviously, you can play. You can get Champion. Currently, they are about 0.4 ETH on OpenSea. So pretty expensive. But that speaks to um, what the general demand for this is because it is a game created by a really reputable developer jam city who have worked on titles like harry potter hogwarts mystery a game that i personally covered on my channel for like three years and i know they can deliver good quality content so i'm excited for what they're going to bring to the nft space and the updates that they're going to continually make along the way because what we have at the moment is a really beautiful social metaverse the world of messina where you can interact with other people there are mini games as well as arena gameplay and this is you know so far along compared to other projects in the NFT gaming space. So really excited for this project. Go check it out. Links will be down in the description below. 
Next up we have Planet Mojo, a really exciting looking game. It looks very, very similar in style in terms of gameplay to Alluvium. So whether it has the ability to live in the, alongside it, whether it's better or worse than it, we'll see. But from first impressions, it looks really good quality in terms of style. They have a beautiful trailer that they have released, which we'll take a look at in a minute. So I think this trailer gives you a really good impression of what this project can deliver in terms of quality. And set the scene for the, the story but on this behind this. Everything changed. You can see that some alien infection has plagued the planet. And we see innocent squirrels. No, don't eat the nut. Don't do it. Oh, it's been taken over. How can I do that? Darkness, the squirrel was so cute. Always rises. But then we see. I mean, they've done good building something that's basically Groot. <laughs> and Groot's cute as hell. But no. 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 Oh. Oh, you, you didn't just got stepped on. And here we have the warriors. And the giant this, bear. This is where we met. Ah. Uh -oh. I don't care how big you are. This thing is gonna stamp on you, bear. This is our world. Oh, you see the little group floating in the air. Getting ready to use some cool attack. So that's Planet Mojo, the, the lore behind it. But in game, you will be able to enter an arena, compete against other people. See a little tournament thing to start going on there. Deploy and destroy and get all the loot. We have Mojos. These are the magical defenders of the planet. Pulled forth by the planet itself to defend a new deadly threat. That's right. So that's why it was like flying and glowing. The champions, like the bear, we see are the warriors of the planet. And they've made good progress with the roadmap. We're coming to Q4 now. We're going to see the land sale and play. New champions, the open beta happening and tournaments. They have had um, early access playtests for people for they had a 24 hour one um so they look like they're fairly far ahead in the project the whole team is fully doxxed they have some good partners and america brands being one of them if you want to pick up some of these nfts we have mojo and champions here you can view the collection on OpenSea. so it looks like the mojo champions start very very cheap 0.01 eth for zerlin the lesser you can see in bruca clawhaven 0.03 so they're very 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 cheap it didn't does go to 0 0.1 so actually they're they're pretty good to pick up those two and then we see the mojo seeds they're from that they used to sprout magical mojos one mojo seed equals run one random mojo they will set you back 0 0.7 eth at the cheapest price and there's only two of those available then when it comes to the vrp play test you can pick them up for very very cheap it's basically one dollar um to be able to so we're probably less than one dollar now to purchase one of them and then we have cinematic collectors pass 1.5 matic and then we have the mojos of planet mojo so yeah there's no point buying a seed really because you can pick them up at 0.2 at the cheapest price um but they do get expensive real quick there's not many available it looks like for sale so yeah, this may demand for these might increase when the game actually releases. So we can see here a little sneak peek of what the gameplay will look like. So we have a very much auto battler style, but with moving parts to it. Um, very similar to Alluvium, I think. Um, I'm going to be interesting to see how this stacks up against Alluvium, but we'll see when it comes to the open beta test. We'll try to get a hand on some of the gameplay. Next up, an update for Synergy of Sarah. You can now deposit your um, your crates. So if we go to their website, we'll see how many crates that I've got available to unlock in six days time. So we will be able to unlock these next Monday. Hopefully we can do it in Hot Projects live. Be really excited to see what I get. So we can see that I can't deposit crates because they have already been deposited. I have 50 transcendent set crates 
available 100 base set crates but they're not available to be able to open so in six to ten years time we will get to open them i have along this way been accruing alpha fame by depositing these and a 430th out of total 13,302. Um, yeah, so we'll get to see what the cards are um, that I get. And also, maybe we'll get one of the special items. That's going to be very, very unlikely. But fingers crossed, we might be lucky. So we'll check that out next week. And finally, we go over to the Elixir platform where a lot of games are developing and moving along very very nicely some of the games that we've covered this is a really good source to be able to pick up games by the way where you don't want to take any risks of downloading something that might have a virus it is i think the closest thing to the steam of the nft blockchain gaming space and you've got some really good reputable games on there like undead blocks we have Kronos on there. We have some big games coming up in the future. Universe Island we've covered in the past before. So yeah, a lot of projects coming to this space. I think it's a really good one to follow if you want to keep up to date with some new games and find some gems on there. We have Kronos, a game that I'm really excited for just because we need a platformer. We need a quality fun platformer in the NFT gaming space. And this looks like it's going to be that. With a lot of variety and ways of it to attack. Combat looks really cool. We have loot on it. Special abilities there, which... Oh, okay. Okay, slash, slash, slash. Yeah, it's going to have a lot of just cool platforming skill to it, hasn't it? Um, And this... We're not far off this. So, currently in private beta, um, which we don't have access to. But on Thursday, the 8th of December, we will then get the opportunity... To be able to play this and download it so this is going to be have a single player it will have a co-op multiplayer online which is awesome and then in future it will have pvp and pve in the game you can also build your village unlock new rooms and features you can unlock new abilities along the way combat and platform will be a key part of this and it'll be made for both casual and veteran players with upgradable nfts that will upgrade their stats so yeah, really, really exciting a project, I think. Just something different that we need in the NFT gaming space. We need a platformer that will be the, you know, Mario. Uh, hopefully we have something that, you know, Mario is Nintendo, Sega, Sonic. We need something that will be the NFT platformer that will, you know, represent it for maybe years to come. And Alex is great because they have this events tab where you can actually get involved in upcoming events so we have a little tournament with prizes totaling 200 dollars it starts in three hours time and you can keep an eye on social media to be able to participate this game looks like a lot of fun we need a football game that you know is has good skill to it i mean this looks a bit like old school dino dino soccer on um sega but I mean, that's the throne. It's a disgrace. How dare you take that rule out of the game? I suppose it's five side. Boom, goal. Yeah, we need a game like this. This will be a lot of fun to play. So plenty of games for you to check out and access on there. A lot of them are in private beta, so I recommend following their socials to see how to get involved in those. But there are verified games that you can play right now. We have Rage Effect, we covered that last week. Some exciting looking projects. Okay, so we'll leave it there for today's episode. Hopefully you guys have enjoyed it. Plenty of new games to take a look at today and loads more for you to explore if you want to in your own time. Apart from that, that's all for today's episode. If you have enjoyed it, please leave a like on the video. It always helps the channel out. Hit subscribe if you want to keep up to date with future content. That's all from me. See you guys soon.